hello ladies welcome back to my channel so today i will be exposing to you how to know if your nigerian man is using you see ladies this doesn't just apply to nigerian men yes it could be applied to men from various nationalities but because i talk mostly about nigerian men I'm just gonna base on Nigerian man. You understand? So let's go ahead. So when we say a man is using a woman, there are three things that comes to my mind. If I think about a man using a woman, either he's using her just for pleasure or just to have fun. Meanwhile, the woman on the other hand feels like she's in love and in a serious relationship or he's using her for her money to get money off her, to add to whatever it is that he has, or finally, trying to use her to get a certain document or a position. Yes, that could happen in the workplace. So these are the three things that a man could actually want to use a woman for. So what is the first thing that comes to mind or the rings that a man is actually using a woman the first thing that comes to my mind is that he's usually so fast and quick to profess his love to you. To profess an undying love for you. Because he has plans. He has plans. He knows what is after. He's coming in to use you for something. That man will be so demanding. Yes. When an Nigerian man is using you, he's really very demanding. He wants everything. Everything. Meanwhile, he will keep telling you that he doesn't have. He wants your money because he doesn't have. Or he's getting a, a lower pay. Or because he's not working. You know, this is one thing that comes to mind. Another thing is, he will continually demand for your time he's so demanding that even you cannot help but notice how demanding he is in terms of everything so that's one thing that you should know if he's very demanding take a good look at it okay especially financially take a good look at him the next tip to know that your nigerian man is using you is he's very very interested in financial matters anything that concerns money he's there yes anything that concerns money he's there but if it doesn't concern money he's really not interested in it this is how to know that your man especially that your nigerian man is using you that is sign number two Sign number three to tell that your Nigerian man is using you is the fact that anything that concerns you or that pains you or that affects you, he doesn't care. I'm telling you. You may be talking to him, telling him about your feelings and you find his attention is not even there. But when it concerns money, or anything financial that he knows that he could benefit from now he cares he gives you his listening ears he wants to help you regain the money or regain whatever it is so that he, of course you know why because he knows that he will benefit from it so next thing that will tell you that your nigerian man is using you is the fact that he doesn't talk future with you at all you may be thinking and planning and talking about your future and talking about things you like to do, what you like to have. And anytime you bring about anything concerning the future, concerning commitment, concerning marriage, he just knocks it off. Mm -hmm. If you see a Nigerian man like that, when you're talking about your future, he's, he's not interested. He's just knocking it off. Hmm. No. Be careful, sisters. Believe me. Be careful with that man. Next thing that you might want to know 
that happens if a Nigerian man is using you is the fact that he's terribly controlling. He is controlling. He likes to control you a lot. Because he's controlling you because he really wants to know everything about what you are doing. Yes. And when he's controlling you, he doesn't make it seem like he's controlling. He tries to guilt trip you, or how do they say it? He tries to make you feel guilty about the whole thing. Meanwhile, the reverse is the case. He's the one who's actually controlling you, but he tries to make it as if you are the one who's controlling. Like he keeps telling you, you know, babe, you don't really care, you know, uh, you don't even care about my feelings, you don't care how I live, you don't care how I'm managing, you don't care this. But see, he does it in a very cunning way that he makes you feel guilty about every little thing that you do. Meanwhile, He's the one who's actually trying to control you, but in another kind of way. Yes, I once had this lady who talked to me about her man. She said, you know, he would usually tell me, you know, you don't care about me. If you cared about me, you would ask what I do. You would ask how I've been faring. You would ask, you, you know, what is she going to ask you? You're the man for Christ's sake. Or you would ask what you could, how you could help me. See, this is the kind of thing. He's not coming out to be controlling. Rather, he's trying to control you by saying those things. So that now you start to withdraw and feel like, you know, what's happening? Am I really this bad? You know? No. No. It's his plan. Don't fall for it, okay? Do not fall for it. Next thing that you should know if your Nigerian man is using you, he tries to make you feel like you are not good enough for him. Really. He tries to make you feel that you're not good enough. He tells you stories. He tells you of his former relationships, how his girl did this for him, how his girl did that for him, uh, how you are not doing this for him. All lies. All lies, ladies. He's just trying to make you feel like you are not good enough for him so that you can do more or whatever it is that you have been doing. If you have been giving him, say, take this babe, $10, he wants you to feel like, no, you're not good enough. That other people have done better than you. So you should up your game, girl. He's trying to use you. He's using you. Not trying to use you. He's using you for financial purpose. The final thing I want you to know. That's rings that a Nigerian man is using you. Is the fact that. He likes to plan financial future with you, but he's not trying to plan any other kind of future with you. Say, babe, let's do this together. Let's buy land together. Let's buy a house together. Or he's always pushing you into borrowing for him. Yes. When a guy, not your husband, a man, even your husband, keeps pushing you into borrowing money for him in your name in your name on your account but when the money comes it goes to him he uses it for something personal or for something that consigns him alone but not something for both of you he just tells you that he's gonna pay girl if that guy goes who's gonna pay that money it's in your name someone was told me of a story where this lady was married to a certain man, not a Nigerian. He would all, they were married. They had kids. He would always push her into borrowing for him. That she had so much in her name. She borrowed and borrowed and borrowed. And at the end, they started to have issues. Probably because she wasn't borrowing anymore and she was owing so much. You know what it led to? It led to a separation. He fought her. He took the kids. He said she could have some custody to visit in the weekends. 
and then later took the children decided not to even let her see them anymore and when she tried to fight back you know what happened they were separate nationalities he the man took the kids and disappeared to his own place no in fact no one knows where the child the children are no one knows where the man is all disappeared into thin air and my dears this woman is almost going mad like she's not normal anymore she could just be standing and staring into space sometimes she starts to hit her head you know this kind of madness that attacks people and because of that she lost her job because in the place of work she would actually sometimes react like she's mad and then she was terminated for being maybe sick or mad or something and she has nothing children gone husband gone death in her name job none so my ladies please let us be wise let us be strong let us know when a man is using us so that we guard ourselves so we can protect ourselves from them so that we don't get into such situations whereby it will lead us to you know something else Okay, my ladies, this is just for me, you girl, to you, telling you that we as ladies, we have to be careful to know when a man is trying to use us. Not saying that you cannot plan with your husband. For me, if you have to plan at all, plan with someone who is your husband, legally married. Because it's so hard. I know it's very hard for women to leave. But you know, men, you know what happens. Okay, ladies? So, without further ado, do have a lovely day. Do have a happy day. Stay happy. Stay blessed then. Bye-bye.